Welcome to Algoma, Wisconsin. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are in Algoma, Wisconsin, at the corner of Parkway Street and Steele Street. You might be able to hear some live music going on the other side of the water here. And there's Lake Michigan down there. So the, uh, the trailhead for the Anape State Trail in Algoma has no restroom. So since we were down in this area yesterday, we knew that there was a restroom, which is this building right here, that's right by the water. So we decided uh, just to park here because uh, there's plenty of parking in this lot here. So we decided just to park here since it's only a couple blocks away from the trailhead since uh, we'd have access to a restroom and a view. The ride is uh, only about 26 miles today, so that's about uh, 13 miles each way. This is the Anape State Trail. We're taking it down to, I believe it's Casco Junction. That's the last piece of the trail that we have not done yet. So we will have fully completed the Anape State Trail uh, as soon as we're done with this ride here. So here we go. This is the Algoma Trailhead of the Anape State Trail. Uh, they have a sign here, which is not on Google Maps yet, on the street view. So it looks like it's just a fenced off gravel parking lot here. There's no other amenities, no restroom or anything, which is why we started closer to the lake. So, uh, but then the trail just goes down here. We're at the corner of, uh, looks like Perry and Sixth Street. And then uh, the trail just uh, begins and starts headed uh, west. Let's take a moment to recognize Old Glory waving in the gentle breeze as she should. So we're currently at the fork in the road on the trail here. Uh, if you venture to the right here, you're gonna head towards Sturgeon Bay in Door County. Uh, we're gonna be headed to the left here, uh, which will take us towards Casco and then Behind us here is back to the way to uh, Lake Michigan towards Algoma.
From where we parked in Algoma, we're 13.5 miles into the ride. Uh, so this is the end of the ride for us. Uh, if you go this way down the trail, you're going to end up in Kiwani. If you go this way, this will take you back to Algoma. If you go this way, uh, you will end up in Luxembourg. Uh, so, and I should also add, if you go to Algoma, it says on the sign we're 12.7 miles away, but it, obviously you could keep going, take the other part of the trail and go all the way up to Sturgeon Bay, which makes us 26.5 miles away from Sturgeon Bay one way. So uh, let's talk restrooms for a second. In 13 miles, uh, there are zero. So even when you start in Algoma, there isn't a restroom. That's why we parked where we parked, so we'd have access to one. So there's nothing on the way, but at the trail intersection, right here's a little park where you can access the trail. Uh, Harold uh, Reichelberg Park, Anape State Trail Trailhead. And uh, looks like uh, they have a map up there and they have a uh, porta potty. So that's the only porta potty we've seen in 13 and a half miles. So the trail yesterday, which wasn't that much longer, uh, had several, you know, once every five miles or close to that. So we just passed a mile marker 13 on our way heading back to Algoma, Wisconsin. Now at that park back there, we met a couple of nice people who are local to the area. Uh, always good conversations on these trails. I haven't had a bad one yet. So uh, we're headed back towards Algoma, like I said, uh, 12 point something miles away. The worst part about this trail, or this section of the trail, is just the lack of, uh, lack of uh, restrooms, lack of places to stop and sit. Uh, at the park we were at, they didn't even have a garbage can, so we got to bring garbage with us because we ate a quick lunch there.
Okay, well, 26.7 miles later, we're back at the Anape State Trail, Algoma Trailhead. Uh, I didn't park here, as you saw at the beginning, so we're gonna make our way back to where we parked. But again, I just wanna show you this. It looks like people parked over there. They both have uh, bike carriers on those, both of those vehicles. So it looks like you could park in either lot. 